Hey everybody, Srini here from The Unmistakable Creative, and today I want to talk about how you create a Spark file to capture ideas in MEM. So if you look at the most prolific writers, the most prolific creators who have massive bodies of work, and some of the most productive people in the world, they have one thing in common when it comes to making ideas happen, and that is that they are in the habit of capturing their ideas. And the truth is that unless you capture your ideas, you're never going to be able to capitalize them. And nobody ever has a shortage of ideas. We just don't have the habit of capturing them. And one of the best ways to get into the habit of capturing them is by using something called a Spark file that comes from the work of writer Stephen Johnson. So what is a Spark file? It's basically a loosely structured document, which basically is where you're going to store ideas. Stephen Johnson basically describes it as a place where he keeps all his hunches for ideas, articles, speeches, software features, startups, ways of framing a chapter that he's going to write, even entire books. And the really cool thing is that the organizing principle to it is just that it's in chronological order with no real taxonomy. And so it's actually super easy to do. The main difference in MEM is going to be the structure because it's not going to be one document because of the fact that we're using tags. But just by tagging something as a Spark file, you're going to be able to recreate this exact structure that Stephen talks about. So let's look at the various methods for capturing your ideas into a Spark file in MEM. The first one is text messages. So one of the really cool things about MEM is the fact that you can actually text yourself ideas right from your phone. And you can see here that I have a MEM phone number that I've set up. So anytime I have an idea when I'm out and about, or if I'm listening to a podcast or something, I can actually just send a text message to myself and it'll show up here in MEM. So let me show you an example here on my timeline. So the other day, I was listening to a uh, podcast from one of our guests, uh, a guy named Sunil Gupta, who wrote a great book called Backable. And he said something that I wanted to remember. He said that he transformed his to-do list into a to-learn list. And so I just sent this to myself. In this case, I tagged a blog post idea, but I could have t just as easily tagged that Spark file. So the first thing that we're going to do to create the Spark file is you just want to create a tag called Spark file. So let's go ahead and do that. And now if we go to Spark file, you'll actually see here, right now there's nothing in it, but you can see here, the chronological order actually takes care of itself because of the fact that I've already tagged this Spark file, but anything else that I tag as a Spark file will actually show up here. So if I'd sent myself that text message and tagged it Spark file, then I could have actually made it part of my Spark file. So let's go back to the timeline and do this. So let's just say I have uh, an idea for a new app. We'll just call it distraction-free writing app that leads to flow. And I can just call this Spark file. And now if I go to the Spark file category, you'll see here, I have the chronological order that is part of a Spark file. The other way, and so that's how you do it on the timeline. The other way that you can use the Spark file is by using a MEM spotlight. So let's just say, for example, we're reading an article on Medium. So in this case, I picked up an article on Medium that Ryan Holiday wrote just a few uh, days ago. And let's just say that I had an idea based on something that Ryan wrote. So let's just say, for example, I want to take this one nugget, define your rules and live by them. Let's say that I took that and I had an idea based on that. I can just press Command Shift Spacebar that becomes part of mem spotlight if i press enter then i can go ahead and just tag this as spark file and when i go back to mem and i click on the spark file tag and i expand it you'll see here that i have all of the various ideas i've had from different sources in chronological order just as stephen talks about and so this is actually a really good way to capture ideas and of all the the sources of information in your life your spark file is the one that probably should have the least filter so you want to think of your spark file in a lot of ways uh like the top of a funnel or like the top of a sales funnel so just as every single person who doesn't subscribe to an email list doesn't end up becoming a customer or buy your product in the same way having a spark file is really one of the best ways to capture ideas because ideas don't come to us linearly. Everybody knows this. You get ideas when you're out in a walk. And now because Mem has this capability to send yourself ideas via text messages, you can actually really easily create a Spark file. Uh, I'll include a link to the Stephen Johnson article uh, on how to create a Spark file as well in this video. It's definitely a worthwhile read, but feel free to reach out if you have any questions.